police recall the area of Cornell and Stanford around 5 p.m. Our Megan O'Rourke was at the scene. She's live now with our top story. Megan. Right now, the 16-year-old victim is at Miami Valley Hospital, but the suspect, now identified as 18-year-old Roy Reed, is here at the Montgomery County Jail, all thanks to the hard work of some fast-footed officers. This is the man police say pulled the trigger during a dispute with a friend on Friday. He didn't get far from the shooting scene. Just a couple of blocks away, he was caught and cuffed. The original call said that the victim uh, knew who the shooter was, and crews had gotten the area and spotted the suspect. Uh, the suspect took off running, and one of my guys uh, chased him down. Crews came out and collected evidence, including a handgun. Officers say it was the weapon used during the attack that took place behind the Cornell Woods West apartments. The victim was hit several times, but police say his injuries aren't life-threatening. It could have been a lot worse. Uh, like I said, we have a, a gentleman that was shot multiple times and uh, has, is going to survive his injuries. Um, the placement of some of the wounds could have been a critical in nature, but thank goodness they're not. Officers obviously relieved the victim's injuries weren't worse. I heard the gunshots far away. But neighbors like Karma Wilbert say they are sick of all the shootings. This happens every day. They need to stop it. Somebody needs to try to stop it some kind of way. They're getting more to the little children now. And the kids can't come outside no more. They have to stay in their backyard and everything. They need to stop carrying guns because guns is going to hurt and guns is not a toy. You understand? When you use a gun, you're trying to hurt someone. Now, at this time, Reed has not been formally charged, but officers say detectives will be down here on Sunday to talk to him. Reporting live in Dayton, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.